besides being a substance abuse counselor, uh, crazy counselor, because I have a bipolar disorder, so I still counsel people regardless. Who cares? What do they know? So <laughs> I'm an English teacher, and it's pretty much a medically proven fact that I am the world's expert on grammar and English, uh, both. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, I walk down the street and, and, and people just come up and say, Hey, Paul, um, what is grammatically correct? If, if, uh, would it be grammatically correct if I said this? And I don't have an example of what they say. Uh, English professors from Harvard, Yale, Brown, and Stanford, as well as uh, Akron U., call me up, they have my personal cell, and say, hey, uh, Paul, we were wondering about uh, this particular grammatical error. What's your stance on this? And then, you know, of course, I, I give it to them. Now, as an English expert, the renowned expert, uh, allow me to belabor this point a little bit. Um, the best English teacher in the uh, universe, uh, God said so, and he owns the universe, made it, so he knows a lot about it. Um, plus, I wear these uh, reading glasses, so right at this point I can't see you, uh, but they look good, um, who, who can say? Um, so, let me, let me just help you with this, I want to set you free from this one uh, English grammar rule that's completely uh, erroneous. That means it's wrong. Uh, it's, not, it's not accurate. It's not helpful. It's not good for you. Um, so if you say um, this coffee tastes good, that's supposedly grammatically incorrect. This coffee tastes good. I've, I've, I've uh, researched this uh, thoroughly. It took me about a year, but it's okay to say this coffee tastes good. Uh, you can even say this coffee tastes great. Um, but a lot of English teachers, professors worldwide say that you should sh tell you, they, they don't say that you should say this, they tell you that you should say this coffee tastes well. Who's, who says that? Nobody in the world has ever said that, except for an English professor. So uh, what do they know? Um, so you don't have to say, I'm feeling, you can say, what you don't have to say, I'm feeling well today. Who says that? Nobody says that. You say, I'm feeling good today. And that's supposedly uh, grammatically incorrect. And you can see like little reflections of something in my, my glasses. Do that. Do it. I think it's it, it's reflections of me. Look at that. That's that's crazy. It's mystical, miracle, actless. Uh, so if you feel like saying I feel good today, say it. And and you know I don't I don't intend for you to get upset or uh, anxious or, or uh, angry um, or a rage in it. I don't I don't think you have to give uh, your English professor the finger uh, when he tells you you should say I feel well today. Just, just give him a break. Uh, just look at him kindly, and and ignore that rule. Ignore his his adv sagely wise advice, even though he's a doctor of English. I feel good today. How do you feel? I feel great today. I don't feel well. I feel great, good, excellent. Excellent actually wouldn't be. It could be okay too. So when you drink your coffee. Tell your friends, your family, uh, your foes, the world proudly, I, this coffee tastes good, and drink it proudly. Mm, it's a little bit hot. Um, pour some more uh, milk in it. Oat milk, almond milk. Not real milk. It's, it's no good.